Hello everyone, from the streets of Budapest. Now I didn't announce this trip, I actually came here for a couple of days R&R &R after Timisoara. I wanted to come and check out the Rudas Baths, which I've been to a couple of months ago, so it's not my first time in Budapest. And hence, I didn't really feel the inspiration to begin vlogging here. However, I am now on the way out, onwards, to what will be a very exciting adventure. Now initially, when I was checking flights, I had two options to continue our trip. The first being Poznan in Poland, and the second being Prague. Now for whatever reason, I just wasn't really feeling it. However, I found my inspiration in the third P. Pakistan. And today, we'll be, we'll be going to Karachi, but I'm going via Saudi Arabia. So the flight isn't direct. And I'm now on the way to the airport to catch a connection via Damam, have a night in Saudi Arabia, and then finish up tomorrow in Karachi, my first time in Pakistan. What's set? to be an exciting adventure. So sure enough, here in Budapest airport, being delayed. Good old whiz air. Apparently, I should be able to actually board soon, the gate's been called at least. But nonetheless, before too long, I'll be on my way to Saudi Arabia, the kingdom, for a night. And given how expensive this place is here in Budapest, I bet Saudi Arabia won't be any more, any more worse. Anyway, then in the morning, it's on to Karachi. And I can't wait to hit up the food markets, see some of the streets, meet the people, and in fact, the place where I'm staying has cost less for four nights in Karachi than it has for one night in a budget hotel by the airport in Saudi Arabia. Operating. Two euros of wholesome nutrition. Guys, I'm officially in Saudi Arabia. I'm not taking that exit though. The common exit for me. So I've arrived at the hotel in Saudi Arabia. My kingdom, my suite. Check this out, a full living area. Flat screen TV. Even got my own little kitchen. Through here. Have a full bathroom, the bath, shower, and just look at this bedroom with the fancy lighting as well. Very impressive. However, this is all a little bit extra. So whilst the hotel was cheap, relatively about 50 quid, including breakfast, I've been delayed. So it's nearly 2 a.m. and I'm going to be off from here at 6 a.m. I've only just got checked in and it turns out that I booked a hotel thinking that it was next to the airport when in fact it's next to an airport that was closed or ceased operation 35 years ago. So I made a mistake. So it's meant a 120 euro visa upon entry which delayed us two hours trying to get it. Absolute nightmare including for some people who were just within one hour of the connection, not even leaving the airport, they had to pay it. Some of them missed flights. To then getting, God knows what the taxi cost, probably 30 or 40 quid to get here. I'll be paying that again in four hours to get back. I'm going to bed hungry, tired, but at least I have a palatial bed for the next four hours. Not much else I can do with it. <laughs> been Saudi Arabia but yeah um, one thing I will say 
you can tell my voice has gone a little bit quieter is that uh, as I look around the room like it's a James Bond film is that um, I was approached by quite a few people obviously when you go outside to try and get a taxi but because I didn't have Wi-Fi um, because the SMS verification is blocked with it being a UK carrier it's blocked given that it's coming from Saudi I couldn't get onto the Wi-Fi to order an Uber and I've said I'm a roaming on I was approached by several people pretty shifty in the airport and following me, harassing me into the airport terminal at pretty much midnight um, so there's no nobody else around in terms of westerns and what have you um, yeah, a couple of unusual encounters, shall I say but probably best uh, best kept for another day Sabah al Ulhai. <laughs> I think I probably completely butchered that but good morning from the beautiful Saudi Arabia out here in the desert although, of course, there's a big city and it's really built up I won't put the camera in the driver's face but here's the view going forward we're on our way to the airport to catch the connection via Dubai to Karachi so last night I only had about four hours sleep given that I arrived late but they gave me a really good room a big suite however the reason for that I think for the last minute upgrade was due to the windows rattling in the wind it reminded me a little bit of the sleeper train and at 3.30 about one hour into my opulent four hours sleep I realised the air conditioning wasn't on it was suddenly very hot and when I checked the temperature it was 36 degrees at 3.30 a.m. Anyway, the air conditioning worked great. I've had a nice breakfast downstairs, which I'm really pleased about as I didn't get to eat yesterday evening. And the people here this morning are really friendly. So we're on our way to the airport now, feeling good and ready for the next step in the adventure. Right guys, we've made it, but I have four minutes to try and make my connection. <laughs> Seems to be a tall order. The flight was a little delayed. Let me try and get through connections here. Now somehow, I've made it. Oh, thank goodness. You know, I felt better to be back in Dubai. Way more chilled compared to that mad experience that I'll go into maybe a little bit later in Saudi Arabia. Anyway. I'm going to get something to eat quickly and then my flight's been delayed here which is actually worse in my favour <laughs> so uh, I've got an extra half hour to hour and yeah, before you know it on the final leg now we'll be landing in Karachi we'll be able to get a good feed tonight after probably spending about 20 quid on a sandwich now anyway, thank goodness I'm here Inshallah Well guys, I made it to Karachi, however, this isn't the Diplomat Inn Hotel. I'm afraid to say, this is where you end up when you forget to apply for a visa in time. Now, as daft as it may sound, I was encouraged when I was in a rush for the connecting flight from Dubai to here, my end destination in Karachi to submit an online visa application rather than doing one on arrival despite me being adamant that I was going to do one on arrival they said you can't do that you've got to have an electronic application in, in order to board now the issue is that having arrived the online application was still processing and hadn't been approved and it turns out that it can in fact take many days to be approved so unfortunately, whilst the guys here were willing to grant me a visa on arrival, they couldn't do so. The computer said no, because there's already an existing application in place, the one that I'd done online. So 
I'm afraid the situation is such that after all this anticipation, traveling from Budapest to spending a night in Saudi Arabia, having to spend 120 euros just for the connection on a tourist visa in Saudi, I've ended up here where I've been now, it's nearly midnight, for the last eight hours. I've been back and forth with the embassy. The guys here have been great. In contrast to the experience in Saudi Arabia, these guys throughout Pakistan have been amazing. Talking with many of the guys on the, on the plane on the way over, the final leg. And everybody here in passport control and immigration has been amazing. However, unfortunately, <laughs> It's just me and these seats for now, although I have managed to have some Pakistani food from the samosa place just down there. So at least I haven't gone home with an empty stomach. Well, here's me for the next 24 hours. Uh, it's about 3 in the morning. My flight isn't until four o'clock tomorrow. So let's settle in. Can't be worse than the sleeper train. Well, I've had my six hours sleep. Lying down, it wasn't actually too bad. I've had a quick splash of the face with some water. There's no towels or soap in there, of course, but what can you expect in a Karachi airport toilet? Um, but I have made it onto an earlier flight, which is great news. So they've taken care of me again. Some things were ultimately lost in translation, so I've double booked another flight. So the cost has got higher and higher and higher. But I will get to Berlin, and I will, in an hour's time, be out of Karachi Airport. So it's a shame it hasn't happened this time, but I hope to be back soon.